and I'm actually gonna mm, make it a a character because or let's make it an integer for now and let's define it to 8 8 and how well let's first make a, a very simple one 2 2 so how to uh, set an initializer list for chessboard I suggest what I suggest doing is you put the first uh, layer of the initial Oh, sorry initializer is on the first uh, on the first uh, uh, what's it called right line and then the second on the second line so you could have 45 5 and uh, so now this this would be uh, 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 uh, 1 2 so if you want uh, let's make this a multi-line comment and let's comment out the chessboard. So let's um, actually print that out to the screen. Oops. Uh, see out a chessboard um, zero zero. And let's just print out the first one to the screen. And uh, I should put a line after it uh, before oops I forgot to put a comma here sorry once again okay so the first value we initialize is 25 and we can see that that's 0 0 now if we put 1 0 we'll get the next value which is 45 which is down here because 1 is the first it uh, determines which row it is on so um, this is a simple array now we can initialize it to uh, 0 by default and let's make it as the 8 8 and uh, here's our chessboard and as we know 1 and uh, 0 will be 0 because all we initialized all the elements to 0 and um, let's actually initialize some random element to 8 uh, I don't know or or let's initialize it all to zeros now I'm going to show you how to work with arrays and loops and how to display a two-dimensional array uh, onto the screen so we're making a nested for loop and um, here's the first example of the for loop for int i equals zero i is less than eight i plus plus so this loop will repeat eight times and the nested for loop is also similar in j equals 0 j is less than 8 j plus plus oops j plus plus and now inside I'm gonna see out a uh, chess board uh, I j so what I, what I did here is this in this inside loop it will just go through and uh, see out every chessboard element which which are all initialized to zero so it will write eight zeros and then go into here where I'm at right now so after it displays eight me uh, elements I want a new line and uh, it will go back to looping again and it will go to the new line and display eight more elements etc 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 so here's uh, our graphical representation of a chessboard and uh, is, if you see this is not a really good chessboard because it's not it's not actually uh, any similar to a square what we could do is we could put a um, a break in between uh, all of these so that it actually looks more like a chessboard so something like this and this looks like a square so this could be a chessboard and this is uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G so if any of you that play chess you, you know and now let's say we want to, d to initialize uh, where the rooks are to um, to say 5 to di display so I'm gonna just comment rook equals 5 for example 
And uh, this is one way of making graphical user interface for a chessboard. So you can keep track of everything uh, using a two-dimensional array. And I'm going to just say chess board um, zero, 0 equals 5 because that is uh, where one, one rook is going to go. And I'm going to go 7, 7 because remember 7, 7 is the top limit of the array. Uh, chess board uh, 0, 7 equals 5 chess board I could make a loop that did it this for me but I'm just gonna write it out by hand so what I did now is I made all the rooks five so uh, here are all the rooks and then I could do similarly I could write um, I could refer and don't forget so this element is element is zero zero and now going uh, across, we have the element, um, what's it called? This would be element uh, zero 01, I believe. Well, let's try. Let's d d display a chess board z zero 01 equals uh, 9. And we'll figure out where zero 01 is located. So uh, here's 9, so yes, this is 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, s up until we get into 0, 7. Now this is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So it's like a r inverse coordinate plane where you can actually work with. So if you, if you have an RPG game, if you have a Tetris game, if you have a chessboard uh, in a graphical user interface for chessboard, or you have just numbers for chessboard, or you can declare this to be a character array and uh, then you can declare chessboard uh, to be rook so you could initialize this to be rook and you just put this everywhere and uh, and this will I'll just take this out here so now it actually looks a little bit more like a chessboard so now I have rook 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 and the rest is blanks because a character array in the default it doesn't give zeros but it gives a blank so th this is pretty cool and then we could uh, we could actually change the color of the, the console if you want and so you can make it a more appealing game and uh, here's an example of um, a game done in using 2D arrays uh, I'm gonna show it to you in a second so uh, hold on and uh, I'm back so I found the game that I was talking about and it's made by Draft Joker so uh, here is actually the it's a, it's a simple idea but it's like a labyrinth so six are the walls and, and eight are some mines and stuff like that and you can it's, it's kind of cool I mean there's color coding and stuff like that uh, obviously it's not a real game that could be sold but uh, I mean, it's it's a cool thing to f play around with, and it it gives you the idea of how um, all all of these techniques could actually be used, um, how the two D arrays can be used and stuff like that, and I exploded and stuff like that. So, anyways, um, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, so that's that's the idea of. 2D arrays and 1D arrays and arrays in general so basically what you should remember is that arrays are used for data storage how to define them etc later uh, we'll look at vectors and the advantages of using vectors over arrays and they're pretty cool because you don't have to define them using a constant variable like you can't define this off of a variable an array off of a variable that um, the user entered unless you use um, dynamic memory allocation which we'll cover in the next lesson but um, yeah you can do that with vectors using a pushback uh, command so anyways I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope to see you soon thank you and it's Trilog from reconnetworks.com if you have any questions go there thank you very much see you soon